Well, day one of racing here in this blustery day. This is race number eight. Time for some reflection. I'm with Rasmus Kostner from SAP Extreme Sailing. Good race for SAP. You'll find out why in a minute. This is the start and a difficult start today because the first mark was so close. You're in a good position here. Yellow sails, SAP. Yeah, we're coming uh, in for the start, positioning ourselves here forward on uh, many of the other teams. And uh, it's a bit awkward coming in on starboard here and having to have uh, a tag in uh, just before the, the start. So uh, you're really looking for the opportunity and the room behind you. So you make your move, you tack. You're now on port, so you're a sitting target. But there you are, left of pitcher. You have one boat. You've just squeezed round. That could have been more of a problem. You're past there now. You've got the potential that you could push the wrong side of the star boat. Yeah, it's all on here. It's all on. We uh, we just need to to try and, uh, and work our best uh, way around it. And uh, we we managed to just get off the the start here. Uh, some boats over, and uh, yeah, no, you just you're pushing as hard as you can to to lead in for the first mark. Wave Muscat got it wrong over the line. They're sent back, but look, heading into the top mark, really windy now, and you had a super start there. Yeah, that's right here. You uh, you, you see how much spray we're, we're having from the, the rudders, and it's a marginal bearway, but um, yeah, close call. We, we make it and uh, straight into a jibe and heading for the first gate. Why did you jibe straight away? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's the fastest route down to the um, down to the gate and uh, and you see we are we are still in the in the lead here so uh, opting for the right hand uh, mark looking downwind and uh, yeah it worked out good for us. So when did you make that decision? Which of those two marks you're heading for that you would go round? You got a man air approaching fast too. Yeah, you basically look at the look at the geometry of the of the race course uh, before the start, and and we we knew that uh, did we have the opportunity to choose, we would uh, like that right hand gate. The uh, animations there showing you rounding first, going the right hand gate, but today that hasn't generally paid. Paid the other side. Red Bull go round and carry on. You tack immediately. Why? Yeah, again, it's uh, it's really long on on port tag there, so uh, just um, trying to uh, to get uh, on the long tag is uh, is quite nice there. We uh, we were looking at uh, that left hand side as well, and we uh, we 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 got in a good pressure there, so uh, holes in the air and just pressing hard to to that right hand side of the race course. And here is uh, Rasmus and his team. So they tacked immediately after. Good pressure, good breeze, middle of the course. And you've got a man air on the right-hand side of you. That's right. We're we're trying to uh, to know where we are uh, compared to the other teams, and uh, yeah, we uh, we actually look like we are uh, not have a lot of uh, starboard tech there, and so uh, we made the right call there, and uh, we're happy to coming in leading here for the top mark. So SAP leading coming into the top mark, the yellow distinguished sails of your team coming into the top mark, a man air headed to the other side of the course. A lot of people got this tack wrong. A lot of people very slow tack today in the, in the waves. Ah, but it's definitely uh, dif difficult conditions with the big waves and gusty conditions. So um, you you you're looking for a, a good bare way here. So uh, so sometimes you're a bit east as well. Here comes the unfurl for us, and uh, yeah, a lot of spray, a lot of spray, and we just managed to get uh, get down there and uh, and pushing hard. So you went around that mark, let the Jenica go. So much power, you weren't ready for it. I think that was just a split second of mistiming there, and uh, when you're unfurling, and you you wanna you wanna go as soon as possible, but you don't wanna be too early. And this one was absolutely one of the one of the early ones, but uh, we made it. Okay, you got a lead. What are you thinking now? You look back, the fleet are pouring down on you. The moment there for Lingi as it goes round the mark. You got a good lead now. You're thinking about your approach to the gate. What's your next move? Yeah, we actually got a little bit of distance to the other guys there, so we can uh, we can choose a little more open, and uh, we're just trying to keep it clean and uh, and going for the left uh, left mark and uh, and just for uh, just for having uh, one tack uh, for the next beat. So uh, it's a pretty nice approach we uh, we we went for this uh, this uh, downwind. Looking behind you, you've got Amane. Make a last minute decision to go to the left hand side. Were you keeping an eye on Red Bull? Definitely looking at the guys behind us to see what they're doing, but we like the side we're, we're choosing there. It's a short up when the next one into the last uh, mark before the, the finish. So uh, we're, we're looking in good shape here and definitely uh, try to keep it clean uh, around the course. 
So you were fast. We are looking at the uh, statistics today. You were fast round the course. Difficult out there. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, it was gusty uh, waves and uh, it was hard to get the positioning right and especially in the start that was uh, that was one of the crucial parts of the of the race there but uh, once you got going then uh, then it was uh, yeah a little bit easier uh, to get along so from that start you got into the lead you defended that lead this is you rounding the top mark for the final time and heading down towards the finish you seem to be getting stronger in every event why we're, we're trying to push hard to um, to learn as much as uh, possible, but uh, the other teams they're learning a lot as well. So uh, so we're just trying to to uh, up our gain a little bit more than uh, than the other teams. Heading down towards the finish of the other other teams, Red Bull sailing, the Wave Muscat and Group Eben de Rothschild all performing well today. Which of those three do you think looks strongest? But it's uh, it's uh, great teams, all of them, and you see, you um, right here, we are, we're giving them a little bit uh, too much, and Gitana uh, is uh, is just uh, straight back on us, and it's it's actually not a lot of meters we uh, we're getting for for this uh, race win here. But that was race win to you, SAP win the race, Group Edmund de Rothschild second, end up the day on top. But good feeling for you guys. Yeah, it's always nice to win a race, uh, but uh, we, s we still uh, have some improvements we can do and, uh, and we're looking ahead for, uh, for tomorrow and, and try and improve even more. As we see here, even the best can have their challenges in this. Over the line at the start, the Wave Muscat right at the back of the fleet. End of this regatta, what are you looking for? Uh, we are we're hoping we can get closer to the podium and um, we've uh, achieved um, to, to get closer to the podium every regatta. So we try and keep that momentum going and, uh, and hope to, uh, to be uh, in the top four uh, later uh, in this event. Rasmus, good luck. Thanks.